Now, Gina, you were there when Terrell blurted out that obscenity. Yes, I was. In your opinion, was he joking? No. So then you would say it was an insult rather than a joke? Yes, but he meant it as a joke. I don't really know. <laughs> when you saw Terrell put that sign on Charmaine's back, were you amused? I didn't really see him put the sign on her back. Oh, well then, uh, one more question. How did your roommate Charmaine feel the rest of that day? I could tell she felt really, really bad. Jenna, I think the court is moved by your honesty. And I also think it is clear that Terrell's joke not only affected Charmaine, but others as well. Your witness, Freddie. <laughs> Gina, I would like to back up a moment, please. Where do you sit in relation to Charmaine? Uh, sort of behind her. How does one sit sort of behind somebody? <laughs> okay, then, right behind her. I'm confused, Gina. How could you sit right behind her and not see a sign directly on her back? Well, I tend to get engrossed in my classwork. <laughs> now, Sister Gina, do you really expect this court to believe that sitting right behind her, you didn't see the sign, nor did you see Terrell put it there? The light was bad? <laughs> Gina. Starting to make sense. How do you feel about your roommate, Gina? Well, I don't have no... Well, according to my client, you can't stand it. Oh, that's not true. Well, is it not true that you got very jealous when Dorian referred to her as the smartest girl in class? No. Well, is it not true that you tried to gain Dorian's affection by baking him a Jerry Curl Jesus? <laughs> that was an app, Frank. Is it not true that you've been viral toting ever since you found out that boy went to church? Hey, no! When the Ten Commandments are lost out that line. Do not wait until Sunday to confess, Dorian. Do not tell Oh, no. Oh, no, girl. Life 